Installation of a Roxtec Rectangular Transit To install a Roxtec Rectangular Transit, you need a rectangular Roxtec frame that must be attached to the structure in line with the guidelines. Besides this, you need Roxtec RM sealing modules, Roxtec stay plates, the Roxtec wedge with wedge clip and Roxtec lubricant as well as a spanner. With most Roxtec rectangular transits, you can seal openings for both cables and pipes in different structures such as concrete, steel, gypsum or sandwich walls or floors. The installation procedure is similar for most rectangular seals. This example shows a Roxtec GH transit. Prepare the frame opening. Start by measuring the frame height. It determines the packing height. Clean the inside surfaces of the frame. Lubricate the inside surfaces of the frame especially into the corners. Insert cables or pipes. Feed the cables or pipes through the frame opening. Adapt the modules. Adapt the modules by peeling off layers. Achieve a 0.1 to 1.0 mm gap between the two halves when held against the cable or pipe. The number of layers may not differ by more than one between the corresponding module halves. Lubricate all sealing surfaces on the modules. Lubricate the sealing surfaces of the spare modules. Do not remove the core. Install the modules. Insert the modules according to your packing plan. Start with the largest cables or pipes and place any spare modules close to the wedge. Place a stay plate on top of every finished row of modules. Ensure that the modules are secured within the stay plate edges. Continue to fill the opening for cables and pipes with modules and stay plates.
Before inserting the final row of modules, insert two stay plates. Separate the two stay plates and insert the final row of modules between the stay plates. Drop the upper stay plate on top of the modules. Prepare the compression unit. Fully untighten the screws to decompress the wedge. Lubricate the short sides of the wedge. The wedge face marked stay plate this side shall face a stay plate. The stop flanges shall face the frame. Tighten the seal. A Roxtec pre-compression tool can be used to make room for the wedge if necessary. Insert the wedge and make sure it is accommodated and secured by the stay plate. Tighten the screws alternately until full mechanical stop. The wedge will compress and seal the transit and the excess lubricant will be squeezed out. Excess lubricant is a sign of good compression. Attach the wedge clip to the wedge screws to complete the installation. Make a final check. Different approvals or certificates may include amendments or limitations related to the application. Always read the installation instructions supplied with the product. Disassembly and reinstallation. Remove the wedge clip from the wedge. Untighten the screws alternately to full stop. Insert a flat tool between the wedge and the stay plate to simplify removal of the wedge. Lift the stay plate. Remove the modules required. If needed, use a flat tool. Replace any damaged modules. Continue the reinstallation of a new cable or pipe. Clean the exposed ceiling surfaces. Lubricate the exposed ceiling surfaces. Lubricate the corners thoroughly. Adapt, lubricate and install the modules.
and then tighten the seal.